Welcome to week four, everyone. Uh, this week, you have a bit of a shortened week, so a little less work, but we're gonna keep building on those foundational skills of good composition in photographs, but using new knowledge of the elements and principles of design and incorporate those as our subjects for our photographs this week. So your first task that you have is to, one, download the elements and principles of art, uh, note-taking worksheet and then watch my presentation over the elements and principles and fill that worksheet out as I as you are watching me present once you're done with that you'll save that as a PDF and upload it into canvas once you're done with being introduced to what the elements and principles are and how you use them in photography then you have a scavenger hunt where you're going to find out in the world these elements and principles being used and take two photographs of each element and each principle and you cannot repeat your photographs and then you'll create a google slideshow of each element and each principle on each slide with your two examples in a sentence explaining how they are used and what compositional element you used as well so we're not completely forgetting about composition be thinking about it as you take your photographs once you're done with your scavenger hunt in your google slideshow you have a short quiz to take over the elements and principles it is not graded, it is just for me to make sure you understand them and in case we need to go back over them next week, we will. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. We also have parent-teacher conferences on Friday. Some of you have already signed up or your parents have signed up to meet with me. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, we can address them then with parents as well. But happy photo taking. Hopefully you learn lots about the elements and principles and get snapping. <laughs>